Hey, it's Trevenna from BenSpark.com, and uh, yeah, I'm using my dash cam. Um, it's uh, Monday, so I've been sleeping, and uh, now I gotta go pick up pick up my daughter uh, from school, run her over to play practice, then run her back over. Uh, well, eat a quick dinner, pick up my son. Can't forget him, uh, and then. Uh, do something, do something quick for dinner, and head her back to, uh, right back to school, uh, which is actually school and uh, uh, church, uh, because she has her first reconciliation today. Uh, then run back home, and I'm on a uh, podcast tonight, um, and uh, so I got that at nine o'clock. I'll be doing a video podcast, live video podcast on blab.im uh, with a group of guys from that I met at um, Dad 2.0. And so I am just now making my way over to pick up my daughter and uh, just had something to eat. And just, it's a busy day. I'm half asleep because I worked last night and I only got probably like, you know, three hours of sleep and back up at it again. Flip of the switch back around to a regular day. So there'll be more uh, coming soon uh, as I go from place to place and take moments to uh, quickly, read, to quickly do a little vlogs here and there. Well, now I'm just waiting for my daughter to get out of school, and uh, then we're gonna go go over and pick up my son and. From there, play practice. So it's Mondays, Tuesdays are constantly run, 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 and uh, things start to wind down on on Wednesdays, Thursdays, then gear right back up for work on Fridays. Um, I, I went I, this morning, uh, got my last uh, 12, 12, 12 workout. And what a 12, 12, 12 workout is uh, at Coco Fit Club where I go. They have uh, this this uh, incentive where if you go and do 12 strength, 12 cardio, 12 times in a month, then uh, you get a badge. Uh, and uh, each month that you get a badge, you accumulate your badges uh, all through the year. If you do a whole year, then you turn in all your badges and you get a star badge. And um, I'm one of 13 people who have been doing this for uh, two plus years straight. And um, there's people who are like a month behind us, but we're like at the top month. And if I don't do it, if I miss my 12, 12, 12, then I actually, uh, I get one pass month. But if I miss two months, I got to start all over from the beginning. And uh, there's no way that I'm going to go from the top spot down to nothing. And uh, that that's, that's just not going to happen for me. Um, it's one thing that's great about motivation is that I, I don't want to I don't want to lose that momentum, uh, so I continue to go uh, to the gym every uh, month, uh, twelve times at least, and um, I'm trying to get there more. But with the schedule, uh, if I can get twelve in, that's great. That's 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 as, that's the best as I can do. Uh, so, um, you know, that's 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 where I'm at with that. And um, yeah, so I wish I had some stuff to to show you today. Uh, I do have something back at at home that I, you know, that that multi tool that I really want to show you and uh, demonstrate and do a giveaway, and that's gonna happen. I just need to get a day where I can, uh, you know, create that. So today is not that day. I thought it was gonna be. Thought I'd get up a little early, but as soon as I get up, it just the the day's gone, and uh, so now now I'm hanging out here. So. Or later. So in about half an hour, the Daddy Porter podcast is going to start, and I'm going to be on that uh, with the guys. And while I'm on that, I'm going to show them my Klingon beard. Uh, beer, beer, beer. Uh, bear, beer. Now that word doesn't sound right to me at all. Warnog. Klingon Warnog. And uh, show them that. So I was supposed to have something today to show you. It was supposed to arrive by the end of the day today. Take note of the time. Liars! Let's just say I hate being in collared shirts. 
I, I don't like it. I'd rather be in a, in a t-shirt any day of the week. Um, but tonight uh, was my daughter's uh, first reconciliation. So uh, growing up and uh, going to Catholic school uh, my whole life, uh, I, I remember we were sitting in the same church that I went to and looking around. It's had renovations over the years. And I looked around and there used to be confessionals, the booths. You know, whenever you watch a movie, that's where people go to. It's not so much like that anymore. Um, it was actually uh, a lot different. Uh, this, this evening was way, way different. Uh, basically, I mean, you just have a conversation uh, with the priest. And, and we're very lucky in that. Um, and I'm not going to get feel religious or political or anything like that on this vlog ever because it's just not me. I don't like talking uh, religion, stuff like that. Um, but people, uh, people that I know, people that uh, I've known pr for a very long time, uh, namely our priest. And uh, he was the chaplain at my high school. And so he's known me for so long and um, he's always been very good to us. And he's, he's very much a, a very inclusive person. Um, and I think uh, that's been something that's made a lot of difference for uh, us going to uh, the church that we go to. And uh, the fact that, you know, we're having the kids go to a, uh, uh, to a Catholic school. And, um, you know, so uh, it, was, it was very different. It was, it was very interesting. But it made me think of when I was a kid and um, going to those, that first confession, you're all freaked out and you're, you know, seven, eight years old. And you're like, well, what do I tell the priest? What do I, what do I tell him? I'm seven or eight years old. What could I possibly have done that, you know, is so, so bad that we have to do a confession? So, um, you know, and it's, it's, you, you just, you, now you just, you just have a conversation and, um, you know, you, you talk about things and sometimes it's just really good to just talk things out and that's uh you know with with anything so you know if you have a if you have a life coach or if you have a psychiatrist or, or something like that it's just somebody to talk things out with and um you know a priest can be that as well uh somebody that you 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 know you say things out loud to uh that are on your mind and uh you know they're not gonna you know wag their finger at you or anything like that and uh that's something i think that a lot of people are um you know, think of yeah, that that's that's the case but not the case anyway she did well and uh, you know it was it was a good good night and I think we're all done running around for the evening but I have one more thing to do and that is to appear on the uh, daddy Porter podcast tonight and that's gonna be on blab uh, im and I can put the notes uh, actually the link if uh, below and I don't know if you can go and, and see old uh, podcast or not but uh, if you can then then check it out we're gonna be talking about dad 2.0 we're gonna do a recap of that uh, we're going to talk about many other things and uh, I think before I do that I'm gonna switch into a t-shirt so I more comfortable on the uh, on the uh, show as you can tell I'm not really comfortable in in this and, and, I've, and I've said that uh, so um, not a lot going on today uh, you know, well, I mean, other than running back and forth, running back and forth, but um, beyond that, uh, it's, it's, it was a pretty quiet day, so I'm sorry this is a pretty dull vlog, and uh, I should probably end it now because it's long enough. And uh, so, this is Drew Bennett from BenSpark.com. You can find me on Instagram as BenSpark, on Twitter as BenSpark, at Facebook.com slash I'm not a famous blogger, and also you can subscribe here. Uh, for a question today, Oh, question today. Hey, um, well, let's see. Did you, are you going out and voting? Uh, the primaries and stuff, uh, I know tomorrow is a primary. And I'm going to get out and vote. Um, i got to figure out which place I'm at now. I think they changed it for on us. So you got to go get out and vote. And um, did you? Are you? I don't care who you're voting for as long as you do it. Um, so... Anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow.